What's going on guys? Today you're going to learn how to hide your IP address from your internet service provider. It only takes a few minutes to set up, so let's get on with the video. So there's many reasons why you'd want to protect your IP address from your internet service providers. Many say you can stay safe online and say you can stop them from tracking your internet activity. Believe it or not, back in 2017, March 2017, a law was created so your ISP could legally sell your data to other companies such as advertisers. Now this is not beneficial to yourself whatsoever and the only reason why this is happening is so your ISP can make more money. Now I'm going to quickly give you some more reasons why you'd want to cover your IP address and then I'm going to show you how to actually do it. So internet service providers can actually track your internet activity, they can see what websites you're going on at any moment at any time. Now it does help if you're on a HTTPS website, which basically means that they can't get any information such as username, passwords and any financial information. You can tell if it's HTTPS or not because it will stay in the top left hand corner. If you're not on that, obviously they can get other information and that could also potentially be sold to other companies as well. Now another reason why you want to hide your IP address is because of torrenting. Now if you do use torrents quite a lot, um, and you're showing your IP address to your internet service providers they don't like it because majority of the time torrents are illegal and it doesn't matter what the content is that you're torrenting they will actually throttle your internet speed if they find out and I didn't actually know this until today and this could be a pretty serious effect now unfortunately there is only one way to hide your IP address from your internet service provider and that's to use a VPN now the best part about it is that there are lots of them and VPNs are super easy to set up. So what a VPN is, a virtual private network and that's basically used to encrypt all of your data traffic that you're doing online and it also sends out an alternative IP address to your internet service providers. That way they don't know what you're doing online or who is doing it, just as it says here on Google. Now as I just mentioned before, choosing a VPN is super important. And there are plenty of them out there and as you can see there is just a handful here. Now different VPNs have different features and services so choosing the right VPN is super important. I personally go with private internet access and this is why. Now you want a VPN that comes with basic features such as Wi-Fi encryption, fast bandwidth and one that's easy to set up. If it doesn't come with that you want to scrap that straight away and look for another one. The reason why I'm talking about private internet access is because I use it myself and it actually comes with a lot more than the basic features. As you can see, private internet access comes with not only fast bandwidth, but it also comes with unlimited bandwidth. It also comes with no traffic logs, which basically means the VPN themselves can't even look at your traffic, so you're safe from not only ISP, but the VPN too. You can download it and use it on five devices simultaneously. Private Internet Access has applications for pretty much every phone out there and every computer out there, so take advantage of that. Now it's also easy to use and it also blocks ads, trackers and malware, which is just a given bonus. Now you want to look for a VPN that's got loads of servers all around the world too. What this means is that the more servers they have, the more reliability they're going to have and the faster speeds they're going to have. Not only that, it's also going to mean you're more secure and you can actually unblock content from that region too. As you can see, Private Internet Access has over 3,000 servers in 33 countries, which is basically topping the most amount of service ever in VPN at the moment. Now, if you are serious about going anonymous online, because I know a lot of people are these days, you want to try and avoid the free VPN services and go with a more premium one. That way they're going to be a lot more reliable and they're also going to be a lot more loyal as well and they're going to obviously offer you a lot more protection. This one starts from $2.91 a month. Most VPNs are around the similar price range but like I say it's all about what features they offer and how they can benefit you. Now I recommend you go out there and find out what VPN is best for you. But I highly recommend going with private internet access simply because it comes with a load of features that are very beneficial and it comes at one of the cheapest prices you can find to this date. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have got any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching and stay safe online.